Welcome to the second part of the Unity top-down player controller series. In the last video, we created a move script that moves the player with him facing in that direction. Today, we're going to add more player control that allows you to move in one direction while aiming in another, which is perfect for a shooter style game. Now let's get started. All right, the first thing we need to do is set up our inputs to take in for rotation. Currently, all we have is the move action and we're using this to do rotation but we want to do that separately now. So first thing we're gonna do, for PC, we're gonna to wanna to take in our mouse position and then use that point to point our character in. So if we're in here in our game, if I point over here, I want our character to look at where our mouse is pointing at. So let's go into our input manager and put mouse look. We're gonna do a vector two value, same thing as we did with the move. But instead of keys, we're gonna bring in our mouse position. So now that we have our mouse, we're also gonna want input for our controller or mobile. And for this, typically you use the right joystick. So add a new action, we're gonna do joystick look. And same thing, value, vector two. And for the no binding, we're gonna do gamepad and then right stick. So save your asset. Now we have all of our input actions set up to start handling our rotation. Go back to our player and we're gonna have to create some new events because in our player, we would call our move script and then it would handle our movement. Now we gotta handle for our mouse look and our joystick look. And the reason we're separating these two is because in the game, these values, if we put it into one look action, it, the mouse input and then the joystick input would start competing with each other and then your character will start to freak out, spin in a whole bunch of different directions and it just makes the code a lot messier. So we're gonna separate it into two different parts so it's much more visible to see what's going on. So to do this, we're gonna open up our player controller and start handling these inputs. Okay, now that we're in our script, we're gonna come down here and a subscriber in the last video brought this up. If you wanna fix the fact that when you let go of the joystick or something, your player will snap back to the forward position instead of staying in the position that it was already going in. To fix this, it's very simple. Just come over here. If movement does not equal vector three dot zero, then do this. So if the joystick equals zero, then it's not going to t uh, complete this bit of code and therefore it won't snap back to the forward position. So now that we have this, we're gonna start setting up some variables so that way we can start handling our rotation. We're gonna come up here. We're gonna add two more vector two variables. And by doing that, just separate it by call um, commas instead of adding several different variables up and down. So go move. We're gonna look for our mouse look variable and we're gonna look for our joystick look. After this, we also want a private vector three and this is gonna hold our rotation target. Or we'll do yeah, rotation target. So what this is gonna be is when we're using our mouse and we're looking at the game, this is going to be the point in which our character is going to look towards. And for the last variable, we're going to do a public so we can access it in the editor. It's gonna be a bool and it's gonna be is PC. And this is what we're gonna change the variable to take into account if we're using our PC controls or if we're gonna use a controller joystick control. Now we're going to take this and we're going to duplicate this because we're going to use the exact same process instead of on move, we're going to call it on mouse look for our mouse input. And instead of changing move, we're going to change our mouse look. And we're going to do the exact same thing for the joystick look. So on joystick look and set our joystick look variable. All right, cool. So now that we ha we're accessing our actions, we're gonna come down here. Instead of move player, we don't wanna just move the player anymore. Now, we're gonna add a new, we're gonna leave this so we can access this for our joystick input. So if we're not using the right joystick, we'll still use this so that if you're just using the left joystick, the player will look in that direction. So come down here, we're gonna go public, void, move player with aim. And this is the function we're gonna access. We'll change this, we'll access this later. So come back up here. And for update, 
So if we're on PC, oh my gosh, is PC. We're gonna do this code, but if we're not on PC, we'll do this code. And in this code, we're going to do this. So if we're on PC, we need to uh, do a raycast to find which point it is that our mouse is looking at. To do this, put raycast, hit, hit is the name of the variable. We're gonna create a new ray, which is gonna be equal. We're gonna cast it from the camera to a point in the game. So what this does is it casts a point from your camera on your screen somewhere. It's gonna cast a ray from that point to the game floor. And that's where we want our point to, of rotation to be. And we're gonna just pass in our mouse position, which is our variable up here. Come down here. If this ray cast hits, Oh my God, I can't type today. We're gonna pass in our ray. We're gonna use our hit info from the variable raycast hit. If it hits, we're going to set our rotation target equal to the point that it hit. And this will give us a vector three, so that way we have somewhere to position our player towards. And after this, we're going to Call our function. Make sure you use brackets. All right, now for mobile and controller, instead of just calling the move player, what we're actually going to do is call. So if the joystick look dot x is equal to zero, and the joystick look dot y equals zero. And what this is going to be to make sure our right J our right joystick or our aim joystick is not being moved. It's not being touched. We're just going to use our move player. And this will just control our movement and not our rotation, which is what we want if our joystick's not moving at all. But if it is moving and there are values, then we're going to do move player with aim. Just like we do with PC. All right, now that we have all this set up, it's time to start setting up our function. Down here in move player with aim, first thing we're gonna do, again, see if we are on PC. Do this line of code, or if we're not on PC and we're on controller or mobile, we're gonna do this line of code. Up here, we're gonna set a variable, which is going to be called look position. It's gonna equal our rotation target minus our current position. Under this, we're gonna set that look position dot y equal to zero because we don't need up and down. We just need left and right, horizontal and vertical. And we're gonna make another variable called rotation is equal to quaternion dot look rotation, look position. And now we're gonna make another variable, vector three. This is going to be our aim direction and this is going to be equal to new vector three, rotation target dot x, zero f, and then rotation target dot z. With this, we're gonna check to see if there's any input. So if in direction is not equal to vector three dot zero, then our transform dot rotation is going to be equal to Quaternion dot slurp transform dot rotation. Pass in our rotation variable. Just not realizing I spelled that wrong. Rotation. And then same value as we did before. Just up here. Same value. Alright. Now that we have all this, we're going to come down here to if we're on controller or mobile our vector three aim direction is now gonna be equal to vector three. Make sure it's new vector three. And we're gonna pass in our joystick look dot x, zero f, because we don't need the y. And then our joystick 
look dot what same thing as up here we're going to do if i'm just going to copy this all down paste it down here and instead of passing in rotation we're going to do quaternion dot look rotation aim direction all right now in order to actually move the character because this is just handling all the rotation up here we're going to do exactly what we did before come down here make sure you're not in any of the if statements here and you're actually in the function we're going to go vector 3 movement is equal to new vector 3 move.x your ref move.y and then we're going to translate our transform so transform dot translate pass in our movement multiply it by our speed variable times time dot delta time in world space and there we go now our script is completely done we come up here all right just as a recap of everything that we've just created we're going to check to see if if we're on pc we're going to do a raycast we're going to take that raycast if it hits we're going to set our target to that raycast point and we're going to move to look at that point and if we're on mobile or using a controller if there is no input coming in on the right stick just regularly move the player like we have been in the past or if there is input use our new function to look in that direction and be able to move with the left stick our move player function is exactly the same as it was before and our new function if it is pc we're setting a new look position by subtracting our position from the new rotation target and then completing that rotation down here after all of our calculations up here. Or if we're on controller or on mobile, our aim direction is just equal to our joystick look and we're gonna set our rotation to the value of our joystick. Now that's all this complete, let's go look in the editor to see what it does. In order to make sure that our script works correctly, we need to make sure that everything in editor is connected. What we're going to do is duplicate this joystick here, and we're going to call it right joystick. Go into our scene, move it over to the right side, and instead of left stick, we're going to change this to right stick and use that for the input. And then on our player, we're going to events player and we're going to add two more callback contexts same as we've done before for the move move in our player to select our function go to the player controller for the mouse look on mouse look and then for the joystick look player controller on joystick look now everything's connected and it should be working we're going to make sure we're in our player and for a player controller script we have our is pc toggle and we can select this to choose between our mobile controls and controller controls or PC look. And then let's test this out. All right, so PC is not selected, so our mouse has no bearing on the scene. We can move around and look just like we did before. And we can rotate independently with the right joystick. If we select is PC, we now look at our mouse. If we uh, take our mouse off the ground. There's no collider, so there is no raycast being hit. But if we go back on the playable ground, we start looking at the mouse again. And we can use the arrow keys to move and look in a different direction. And there you go. You have now completed a simple yet advanced player controller that allows you to move and rotate independently while also letting you decide what input you want to use. Hopefully this video helped you and provided you with a good player foundation for your own 3D top-down game. If you like this video, please consider subscribing, and if you have any subject or topic you'd like to see on the channel, leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.